cry. <laughs> Maxine Schinholster visits and cares for her son David Jackson every day. On August 24, 2012, he was assaulted in West Orange, suffering a traumatic brain injury putting him in a vegetative state. His recovery has progressed to where he is in a minimally conscious state. He cannot do anything for himself. He is in a rehab facility 24 hours a day. I'm going to always be here, but you're not going to always be in this place. You're going to be home, you're going to be well, you're going to finish college. Give me a kiss. Give mommy. Yes. Give mommy a kiss. One more time. Find my lips. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Give mommy a kiss. <laughs> Laquan Shiggs was a pedestrian when he was struck by a car on April 12, 2012. He suffered severe brain trauma and is now in a semi conscious state. He can follow some commands, but not consistently. When Naquan was recovering in the hospital, he got a new roommate, and during visiting hours, a voice came from behind the curtain. It was Vic, a former classmate of Naquan's who was visiting David. David and Naquan were in the same elementary school and hung out together. Now, 18 years later, they were sharing a hospital room. His mother, Renee Shiggs, met David's mother, Maxine, and the passionate advocates for their sons became close friends. We just became really close. Each day, it's like a sisterhood, a bond, like... I didn't know David personally, but now he became my family. And we just hugged and just cried. And from that point forward, we had a bond, like she's my sister. When I come in here and we see each other, it's like we don't even have to talk. We feel it, it's the empathy, it's right. It's a connection that nobody knows a mother love. And when you both going through it, when you both going through a mother love for your children to fight, the fight for your child, yeah, she gets it. I know you don't like it, but and please don't take it off, okay? A low voltage electrical charge is one of many ways used by his mother to stimulate him and keep his muscles active. Don't be mad at mama, okay? Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. The movement is so important because unfortunately, the brain sends signal to the body to make motion. We have to work in reverse. We have to make the body move so we can stimulate the brain to brain say, is. hey, mm -hmm. my hand is moving. The only prognosis that I'm getting from his doctors are, it's gonna take time. But I'm sure he knows that this voice that he hears every day loves him. And hopefully the voice that will bring him out of his minimally conscious state. No mother, no mother should have to go through this. But we're strong, right David? We're strong, we're gonna get through this. And people always say, you're so strong, you know? And they admire you, but sometimes, It's just, you try to be strong for everybody, but inside sometimes, I'm, I'm dying, you know, I'm dying because I miss my son. Mommy heart. 